Our Scottish road trip continues, and today we're going to explore Cairngorms National Park. It's home to many plants, creatures, and ecosystems. It houses over half of the surviving ancient Caledonian Scottish forest. It's also home to the Cairngorm mountain range, which lies in the heart of the park. On a whim, for my birthday hike, we decided to hike Cairngorm itself. And we really had no idea just how ruggedly beautiful the landscape could be. The peak of Cairngorm itself is the seventh tallest mountain in the British Isles. To summit, you have to walk up past the ski area and continue climbing. Once you've passed it, it is really just completely open and exposed, and let me tell you, it is windy up here. Eventually, after some more climb, you'll summon at Cairn Gorum and find a cairn signaling the top. A Munro is any mountain with a height over 3,000 feet. There are 282 Munros in Scotland if you want to catch them all. There's nothing up here aside from a small weather station where you can take temporary cover. The area here is unique as it is an alpine semi-tundra habitat on large upland plateaus. There are no trees and it is quite barren. You can find patches of snow generally year-round. As you continue on, you'll see the second peak and you'll find that it is rockier and steeper in appearance compared to Karen Gorum. This one was hard to sketch. The many layers of rocks are hard to convey on paper. It's absolutely beautiful though. I've never seen rocks in such asymmetrical yet perfect squares and rectangles. It feels empty up here, with the rock walls serving as eminent reminders of a land before, maybe even from Middle Earth. The view from Cairn Lochin, the third peak, was absolutely stunning. This felt like nature's castle, with the jagged rocks overlooking the lochs and mountainside streams. And the view into the horizon was phenomenal. I just loved how the mountain ridges kind of intertwined seamlessly, one behind another. This was definitely my favorite part of our seven mile hike. And while the views can be captivating, it's important to be well prepared if you do take on this hike and area. The weather here can turn drastically at any moment with constant high winds and chance of precipitation. Despite the relative ease in terms of elevation and proximity to human contact, it's easy to fall under a false sense of security. The climb down once again offers up some amazing and moody views of the rock wall of Cairn Lochin, and I couldn't resist sketching it. This ruggedly beautiful area is one of Scotland's more unique and underrated landscapes in my opinion. I hope you've enjoyed these sketches and our time in Cairngorm National Park. Until next time, get out and explore, and go with the flow. <laughs>